Hey bodies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today I'm going to show you my review. This is not a how to set a plane review, but simply a review because it's board game related, but it's a novel. Rather than a novel idea, this literally. This is, pardon the pun, for the uh, the novel Domino Strays. Now this is the Marvel Universe. There are other Marvel videos on the channel. Uh, you can check them out, including the ones such as X-Men Insurrection. You've got Marvel Champions. There's numerous videos. You're going to find them in the solo playthrough. You're going to find the playthrough channel. They have a setup play and review playlists, as well as numerous other ones as well. There's also Infinity Gauntlet, uh, there's Love Letter, uh, X-Men ones of those as well, and uh, Infinity Wars of that. So there's lots of stuff to do with Marvel. And there's a book now. So Domino, you might have heard about. Uh, she's associated with Deadpool, Cable, and a few others. And uh, also Professor X, people like that. And there's some baddies as well. There might be some cameos or references to uh, some of those characters in Domino Strays by Tristan Palmgren. And in this particular book, basically, it's kind of an extraction, kind of an infiltration kind of uh, story. And it's relating to Domino, who basically has this uh, kind of eye patch, which isn't an eye patch. It's kind of almost like a birthmark, a kind of a brandishing that she was given as a very young age. And she's a sharpshooter. And the key thing about her, her kind of like mutation, is the fact that she is uh, she's very lucky. What I mean by that is if she uh, jumps off a wall um, to avoid capture or something, she'll land very uh, luckily on, I don't know, a mattress or something like that. Or if someone tries to shoot at her, their gun jams or hits someone else who's a baddie or something. But that doesn't mean that she can still, just because she lands on a mattress, it might be a mattress covered in, I don't know, uh, something disgusting. So it's not fantastic all the time for her, but it's better than obviously being dead, for example. So what do I think about the book? Um, it's linear, it's not too deep, it feels not predictable, but maybe cliche-ish and some predictability to it. I kind of felt I knew what I was going with it. But it's still easy to read, still very good, uh, very quick to read. I read it in under a week. And um, I also uh, had some interesting points to it. Lots of other characters in it, such as from the Wakandan universe and stuff like that. Uh, so lots of other characters you can, of course, you'll be uh, aware of, and it's very nice. Uh, very much a female-driven cast. Um, the dialogue is a bit, uh, not jarring, but it seems a bit too obvious, like, hey gal, the it, it's felt a bit too, um, bit too samey. Aside from that, like I said, I enjoy the book, uh, nothing bad about it at all. Um, only a few typos, not too much, uh, under 10. And there's an interesting reference where it says, when you're trying to like, you know, have a secret identity, you could say, you know, you could say you're they or them, as they refer to, obviously, maybe like transgender people like that. Which is interesting because, and that's only a kind of a minor point, uh, when you look into uh, the actual author, um, when you look them up, it says they and them as well. So I don't know if that was a deliberate thing where by the cynic, we're not telling you if we're male or female or whatever it might be, whatever gender we wish to um, identify as or talk about. So I don't know if that's the whole point, saying it doesn't matter who you are, but it's a prose novel. That's why there's lots of uh, chats that are in it. There's something else in it being prose, and that's basically stating all these little things down here saying, um, oh, I did this. Sure, I could have done something different. So there's always like this kind of uh, inner, inner monologue, and that's fine. But sometimes I get to one of the page and I say, "Oh, I've, I missed the asterisk." Because sometimes you're just reading through it so fast. Not that you need to read it that fast, but oh, I missed that tiny asterisk, and it's strange how I'd normally miss that kind of stuff because I pick up on typos quite well. But in this instance, um, there's like 100 of those uh, prose things. And I'm like, oh, really? And sometimes I felt. They didn't have to do it. Sometimes I thought they could definitely put some more pros and put some of those things in there, a good 20 to 30 or more, to be honest. But I don't know if I really wanted to, because you're reading it, and do I really want to jump down to the bottom and read that to keep reading? So that's the opinion of Domino Strays. There's another Marvel book that I have, which I will be doing a review for. So by all means, please ensure you've subscribed if you haven't already. Uh, check out the, uh, the comments, also the description as well. There's Instagram links, there's Patreon, so please uh, join me on Patreon, because it does support me, and of course, whatever I want to get next to obviously review. Also, we're going to be talking in the next video, there's another one about the Fractured Void, which I've read, and I'll tell you how that compares to Domino Strays. And I'm on to another one, so I'm uh, part way through uh, the uh, Mask of Silver in the Arkham Horror series as well. There's two Arkham Horror books as well. There's a sequel coming out to this, which I look forward to reading, um, and it's to do with Prophecy of Kings, so that's basically the expansion for Twilight Imperium 4. Also, I'm going to be reading this next. I think I'm going to pick this next, which is uh, Legend of the Five Rings book, and that's Poison River, the first Eji Chin mystery. So I look forward to checking how that goes. I'll be telling you how that one goes, of course, on Reddit uh, in due course. And that has been my review on Domino Strays. Please let me know what you think. Please share. And yeah, I look forward to telling you about other ones. All the best. Bye for now.